Rohit Sharma Biology Tutorials. In this video, we are going to start a very important topic and a very important chapter that is the body fluid and circulation. So we are going to proceed in the lecture series of human physiology as we have already completed two important chapters of ecology. We are also going to make some important lectures of ecology and I will give you some special information that I will reach you until Monday. तब तक हम कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट फिजियोलॉजी के टॉपिक्स डिस्कस करेंगे सो सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम के बारे में जब हम डिस्कस करते हैं इट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट व्हाई द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इज नेसेसरी और व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ अ सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम सो बेसिकली व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ अ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म हमने लिविंग वर्ल्ड चैप्टर में डिस्कस भी किया था दैट सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन or we can say the presence of cell is a peculiar feature and a characteristic feature of living organism. It means that if an organism is living, it must be having cell. That's why cell or the cellular organization is a characteristic feature of a living organism. And that cell for being in a living state, you know, it requires different kind of things. So, if this is a cell or you can call it a tissue which is the group of cell which is similar in structure, origin and function they constitute tissue. So let's say this is a cell or this is a tissue. This cell or tissue require different kind of things for its functioning, for its proper functioning. For example, let's say oxygen. The oxygen is obviously required. Why the oxygen is required? Actually, this is not given in NCRT, the rules of all these things, but I am going to tell you so that you can conceptualize that why all these things are very important. The cell do not have a respiratory system. It do not, it do not require oxygen to survive, like to breathe. Okay? So what is oxygen meant for? Why oxygen is required? Actually, let's say if a cell is working, obviously each and every cell has to perform some task. So it will be working. So it has to generate the ATP. It have to generate the energy and for that energy generation process it need to oxidize different kind of substrates and for that oxidation process the oxygen is required. So let's say there is some carbohydrate or let's say there is some glucose molecule then that glucose molecule will be oxidized in the presence of oxygen and it will yield the ATP. So the ATP will be produced and it can be used for different kind of energy reactions okay or different kind of metabolic reactions basically which requires energy. So the cell requires oxygen. The cell requires different kind of nutrients and food. There are some cells jin mein nucleus nahi hota or jin mein sari organelles nahi hoti and they do not have all the important things what they require. So they basically need all those things through a transport mechanism. So the oxygen the nutrients can be transported to a cell or the important substances other than oxygen and nutrients. Now let's talk about some messengers. Hum agar baat kare hormones ki. So hormones and different kind of growth factors are also required for the proper growth and differentiation of cells. And that is also not present in the cells all the time. If we talk about the human beings, then the growth factor and the hormones used to travel via the bloodstream because hormones kisi duct ke through passage mein nahi aate wo directly kya hota hai bloodstream mein release ho jata hai and after that they go to a particular organ and how do they recognize a particular organ there is a very important and fascinating phenomena for example this is the brain let's say and this is the hypothalamus okay or let's say there is pituitary so hypothalamus and pituitary used to secrete different kind of hormones so if this pituitary hormone have to go to the pancreas, how will it recognize in the whole body which part is pancreas? उसे कैसे पता रहेगा कि pancreas में मुझे जाना है? चलो वो तो messenger है उसको पता होगा कि मुझे pancreas तक पहुंचना है। लेकिन out of so many cells, how do it recognizes a particular pancreatic cell? For example, pancreas में काफी सारे cells होते हैं। हम SNR cells की अगर बात करें, so let's say there is some signal which need to be sent to the SNR cells. So if this is an SNR cell, this will have some receptor on its membrane and that receptor is going to be specific for the hormone which is secreted from the pituitary. Let's say hormone A. 
so if the hormone will travel all along the body part okay via blood stream it will come to that part there will be no reception because there is no receptor it will come to another part there will be a receptor and it will be received so the signal will be received and the signal will be transduced okay and different kind of expressions will be produced after that so hormones hai growth factors hai there is oxygen there are nutrients for example if we are taking some food that food need to be distributed to each and every cell right because each and every uh, cell requires some food so har cheez ko body tak pahunchane ka jo kaam rehta hai that is basically of the system a circulatory system which is to circulate the food and all the essential requirements which are required by a cell that's why it is called as circulatory wo circulation mein leke aa raha hai har cheez ko the second important thing is just like the circulatory system used to carry each and everything towards the cell or tissue similarly it is going to take away the waste material from the cell or the tissue as well <coughs> sorry so if this is the function of circulatory system to carry the things towards the cell this is also the function of a circulatory system to carry the waste material or the excretory products from the cell as well or the different kind of uh, waste products okay कोई भी जैसे कि बाय प्रोडक्ट है उन सबको भी बाहर निकालने का जो काम है वो हमारा सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम ही करेगा सो व्हाट इज बेसिकली सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इट इज अस्टम विच इज फॉर्म अपॉफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ हम अलग अलग चीजों के बारे में पढ़ेंगे वी विल टॉक अबाउट आर्टरीज वी विल टॉक अबाउट वेन्स वी विल टॉक अबाउट आवर ब्लड वी विल टॉक अबाउट द टिश्यू फ्लूड ओके वी विल टॉक अबाउट द लिम्फ सो ऑल दो थिंग्स आर द पार्ट ऑफ सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम So, हम पंपिंग मैकेनिज्म के बारे में भी पढ़ेंगे अबाउट द हार्ट एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स सो बेसिकली यहाँ पर अगर हम ले मैन लैंग्वेज में बात करें बिल्कुल अगर हमें किसी ऐसे बंदे को समझाना है जो कि साइंस बैकग्राउंड का नहीं है we will simply say that it is basically circulation. किसी भी चीज का घुमाव है ए पर्टिकुलर सेल है टू दैट सेल वी नीड टू टेक सम थिंग्स ओके वी नीड टू यू नो प्रोवाइड दैट सेल विद सम थिंग्स एंड वी नीड टू रिमूव सम अननेसेसरी स्टफ फ्रॉम द सेल एज वेल सो दैट इज बेसिकली डेन बाय द सर्कुलेटर सिस्टम now that circulatory system is also of different levels different levels means we have already talked about the animal kingdom and we know very well that what is the organization of a sponge agar hum baat kare porifera ki so what the porifera name is made up of it is made up of pore okay porifera means pore right so there are different kind of pores let's say this is the large thing called osculum and there are small ostia यहां पर देर इज अज कैविटी दैट इज बेसिकली कॉल्ड एज अजोसीड सो द वॉटर विल एंटर एंड द वॉटर विल एक्ट एंड दैट सर्कुलेटिंग वॉटर विल ट्रांसफर इच एंड एवरीथिंग राइट टू द यू नो स्पॉन्ज एंड इट विल रिमूव द थिंग्स विद इट्स रैपिड फ्लो रैपिड फ्लो के साथ वो जो अननेसेसरी स्टफ है उसको रिमूव करने की भी कोशिश करेगी और वो उस तक सारे के सारे न्यूट्रिय और एयर पहुंचाने की भी पूरी कोशिश करेगी so this is the primitive type of circulatory system because there is no specialized organ there is no specialized organ system in case of sponge they are the most primitive animals so unme bahut hi primitive bahut hi simple tarike ka circulatory system hum keh sakte hain present hai okay we have already talked about the water canal system right so after that agar hum baat kare cilium trachea mein that is also having same kind of arrangement but when we talk about the higher vertebrates such as human beings then we have different kind of fluids which used to do this work for example with the blood flow different kind of things will come in the respiration chapter we have talked about the hemoglobin used to carry oxygen okay and different kind of nutrients are also transferred via blood different kind of hormones are also transferred via blood different kind of growth factors are also transport transported via the blood and different kind of things are also removed from the cell via the blood ओके okay? हम बात करते हैं अबाउट द ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड जो कि ऑक्सीजन लेके आता है आफ्टर दैट ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसफर करने के बाद देयर इज डीऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड इट मींस दैट ब्लड इज डूइंग द फंक्शन ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग द सेल विद ऑक्सीजन एंड टेकिंग अवे डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ बाय प्रोडक्ट्स व्हिच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड ड्यूरिंग द मेटाबॉलिक रिएक्शंस फॉर एग्जांपल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो उन सब चीजों को जो है एक जगह से दूसरी जगह ले जाने का काम करता है हमारा सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम राइट so there are different kind of fluids in our body as well for example there is blood and there is tissue fluid which is basically lymph so this is just an introductory video in which we have uh, learned a little bit about ki kya hota hai circulatory system in actual 
and after that we have talked ki what are the things that we are going to talk about in this chapter okay so we are going to talk about the composition of blood the composition of tissue fluid or lymph how they work in the circulatory system what are the mechanism of circulation what is the function of heart what is like different kind of things are there okay cardiac rhythms ke bare mein hum log padhenge aur uske baad kafi sari aisi cheeze aati hain jo ki bahut hi important hai from examinations point of view so un sari cheezon ko hum pure tarike se acche tarike se padhne ki puri koshish karenge this is just an introductory lecture where we have talked about ki hum kya kya padhne wale hain right so from the next lecture we are going to talk about the composition of blood and after that we will talk about the blood grouping systems and then we will proceed in this chapter and i hope that you will get all the important concepts of this chapter because they are like the most important chapters from examination point of view the human physiology contains the maximum amount of questions each and every time aur aisa kabhi nahi hua ki human physiology se question na aaye ho ya kam aaye ho it is the biggest unit aur isse question bahut sare aate hain aur isse question aane banate bhi hain because it is one of the most conceptual unit right so i hope that uh, this particular lecture is beneficial for you अगर आप लोग को ये वीडियो पसंद आए दैन डो इट लाइक बटन शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर श्योर थैंक यू सो मच